Hey there everyone! After a long while, I am finally back with another update video. But this time it's not only an update video, but a celebration video. Yes indeed, I may be slightly late, but I'd like to take a moment to formally thank you all for 20,000 subscribers. It's been a real honor to... Oh, oh, one second. Hello? A month late? What? Well, what's it at now? 30,000! Wow, oh, that's, that's not bad. Okay, well, thank you. All right, bye-bye. So, as I was saying, 30,000 subscribers, awesome. It's been a good thing I came prepared for that. <sighs> On a serious note, thank you guys for 20,000 and 30,000. I am really surprised on how quickly we're growing, and it really just motivates me to work even harder than ever. There's quite a few things I want to share with you guys this video, and so hopefully it will answer a few of your questions. In fact, for the first part of this video, I told everyone in the community tab to leave a comment asking a question for a Q&A segment. Here are some of the questions you asked. Michael Anderson asks, Hi, I'm a fairly new subscriber and haven't watched all your content. Does your animation pick up right where the anime leaves off? The Thousand Year Blood War is that what immediately occurs following the Fullbringer arc? Or am I supposed to read some of the manga before watching your animation? Long story short, Michael, uh, yes. Everything that happens in the anime that I'm working on happens right after what the official series ended on. So there's no need to really read some of the manga before watching my animation currently. Congratulations on 30K, says Casey Atkins. I was wondering for the episode, are you gonna do what they've been doing at the beginning of Naruto Shippuden and Boruto, where they show a preview of what's to come later in the series? Um, I've thought about doing something like that. I think one of the aims that we do have is to show a little preview of the next episode or video at the end of each episode or video. Um, hopefully that'll work out, but that's really all I have in plan for now. Ricardo Conti asks, Hey, nice wallpaper. I have a question. Will you stick strictly to the manga, or do you have plans to make some little changes here and there to make the series better? Thank you for the question, Ricardo. I will answer that by saying the start of the series, or the first episode, will have some changes that may seem like a lot, but it's really not changes to change the plot, but just to condense it. So, at the beginning of this project, when I first started it, uh, I had a lot more changes in mind, but ever since then I've kind of reeled back on the things that I want to change or add or remove, but really my focus is just to be on the best things and so there will be some changes but not a crazy amount. Uh, the one thing that I've always confirmed is that I will do the final fight almost completely differently because that was probably my biggest disappointment with the final arc. Thank you for your question. Alukiora versus Grim Jow, a longtime friend of mine, asks, Hey man, congratulations. Question, Ryan, why don't you live stream as much anymore? I always really liked how you interacted with your fans, which will be a lot harder to do when your fan base grows. P.S. I still have a piece of fan art to show you, and I'd love to show it to you during the stream so that I can see your reaction. Well, since I'll probably have seen this uh, art by the time this video comes out, we'll post it here. Thank you so much, Lukiara. Uh, to answer your question, I haven't been live streaming as much anymore because I got really, really tired, to be honest. Uh, I used to do live streams for like 10 hours a day sometimes, every day of the week, working on the opening. Uh, I want to get back into live streaming, and I'll try and do it a lot more on my channel. One of the bigger issues with live streaming is that I was hiding a lot of the stuff I was working on. I was trying to blindside everyone with that Byakuya vs. S not video, and I kind of wanted it to be a nice Christmas surprise, so I didn't want to hint off that I was working on it. I definitely will try to live stream a lot more in the future because I really do care about interacting with you guys. It's one of my little rewards for doing all this and I just really enjoy it. So don't worry about that. It will become more often. If you guys want to communicate or go into the comments and talk about things you'd like us to do on live streams, that's totally cool. Uh, there's also a function for my Patreon. Every Sunday at 12 p.m. PST, I do a stream where I draw things for all my Patreons for free. It's a first come first serve kind of function. So yeah, if you're a patron, you can get free art. It's pretty cool. Famous ad audio audio. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Sorry. <laughs> uh, um, what voice roles do you have left to be felt? Uh, good question. That is something that updates constantly. So I'm not going to give a definitive answer now. 
But I have decided to make my RetroRhino voice acting server public for auditioning. So you can join the Discord server in the description of this video if you'd like to audition. Um, there may be some times before you get responses and there's going to be, I'm trying to build a little bit more of a community for voice actors in there. And you guys can talk to each other and share kind of opportunities on other projects as well. I don't mind. I kind of want you guys to do, you know, well, because I know how it is being in a career that's a little hard to find proper work. Currently we have all of the roles for the first episode. Um, some of the roles that have been harder to fill, one especially, and I'll say it now, is I have yet to find an Ishin. It's been very hard and I'm not enjoying the search. So if anyone knows anyone who would be good at that, let me know. I've done numerous videos on the standards for voice acting for my series, project, channel, whatever. So make sure to take a look at that first before auditioning. And if you don't have an XLR mic or you don't usually ever do voice acting, little spoiler, probably not gonna pick you. I'm just being honest, sorry. Dragon Fist enthusiastically asks, I have two questions. If you're gonna change the end of the series, one, how the final fight's gonna look like. Um, hopefully good. That's my aim for most of these. I like them looking good, so I will try for good. Uh, two, and who will be the next Soul King in the end of Bleach? The answer is Khan. Uh, Khan actually, you know, he's a lion, right? And lions are known as the king of the jungle. Well, Bleach is kind of like a jungle because it's like chaotic and you can never really tell what's going on. So that means Khan is the king of all of it, which means he's Soul King. He's also a compact soul, so it's like cool. So it's gonna be Khan. I'm kidding, sort of. Daniel Durantis, I'm sorry if I butchered your name too, asks, what is your favorite fight in the last arc of the manga? I think that fight will be the best animated, hey <laughs> hey. Uh, you're very, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, if, I, if I'm if i enjoying what I'm animating, I usually try a lot harder. Um, Byakuya vs. Esnaut was probably the one I was most excited for. Um, that's why I kind of went out of order completely and did it. But um, two other fights that I'm super looking forward to animating is, I would say, Yamamoto vs. You Watch and Miyuri vs. Pernida. So that's going to be really fun. I just really enjoyed that fight. Next question. Mr. Viper asks, will there be heavy censorship or are you going to keep the gore? Uh, I don't like censorship. Obviously anything that goes against YouTube's guidelines, I will not do. But as you can see from the Byakuya vs. As Not video, um, didn't really censor too much there. Uh, I feel that it kind of dampens the impact of the story and it kind of just makes it a little bit too, you know, watered down and you, you miss a lot when you do stuff like that. So you guys won't have to worry about too much censorship from me. So hopefully that answers your question. Tristan Nido asks, I'm always amazed by your work, bro. Simple question. Your favorite captain, if you could choose a Bankai to possess, which would it be? My favorite captain is Byakuya. And if I could choose a Bankai to possess, it'd probably be Urahara's because it'd be really handy for everyday type stuff. Black's Review asks, do you do this project as your main job or do you have another one? I'm glad somebody asked this. Um, the answer is this project is my main job, but I do have some other jobs on the sides. I was actually working for an anime called To Be Hero and it was the season two of the series and I had so much fun working on that and there were so many things that I learned working there that I'm going to apply to the Bleach series and honestly, you guys should be very excited because the quality is a about to skyrocket, hopefully. <laughs> it's uh, it's really cool, and I've always wanted to actually work for anime itself, and I didn't think I'd get a chance to do it this soon. And so if you guys wanna check out the series, uh, a lot of my friends worked on it with me, so check it out. I'm done working on that for now though, and uh, I only did like a couple cuts, so it wasn't taking up too much time. My other job is I actually also work as a teacher at a few schools. Uh, the reason I do this is because if I wasn't gonna become an animator, the other career choice I wanted was to be a teacher and the guy I work for is a friend of mine. The main reason I have to do this is because uh, it's very expensive living in BC where I live. And so on the Patreon alone, it's been a little hard. So I've been doing this for a little bit of extra money. So maybe if Patreon goes up a little bit, we can take care of that, you know? Patreon Sunday stream every, every week. <laughs> okay, um, the next question, why I do not know how to, we're, we're gonna, uh, Okay, we're, we're gonna call you Fruit Loop. 
All right, Fruit Loop asks, how many people are working there and how much time do you work on this a day? Pretty much all the time I spend at home is working on Patreon stuff or working on the series. Uh, I've got a few more people now and a lot of talent among me. I have help from people such as my friend Ron Desu, who is an amazing background artist and an equally as great animator. I have my co-directors Guest and Remus. Uh, Remus is my lovely grouchy little Romanian friend and uh, he's extremely talented, and he's very good at managing the project and me. <laughs> so whenever I'm getting distracted or something like that, he helps out with that. Uh, there is Guest, who's been doing a lot of work ever since the beginning of the project, pretty much, and uh, he's so helpful for getting things organized and uh, helping get things a little bit more on model. We've also kind of hired some new people recently as well, uh, such as my new friend Dumsey, who's extremely enthusiastic, and he's been doing very well so far. There's also people like my friend Attack on Kitty, Boogie Pop, who's new, and he's a really good friend of mine. He's He's been so cool so far. There's been D Sun, who is a just kick-ass animator. He's been doing great. Uh, here's a little bit of his work as well. There's Mitch Gonzalez, who is one of the most positive people I've met, and he's a fan of Bleach, and he's helped out before, like in the Bianchi vs. Asnot video. He did the Renji getting kicked away cut. There's also people like Javi, who does 3D. There's Lazy Boost, who helped with the sword shattering scene in Bianchi vs. Asnot. There's Zucchini Juice, who is also one of the most goofy and positive people I know as well. Uh, he's helped out with a lot of things, including the Zelda project, and uh, there's a lot more people in there, uh, but I don't really have time to name everybody. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope to make something where everyone on my team can kind of get a little bit of a spotlight soon, so maybe I'll do a video showcasing all of them and their work. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that, because I'd love to kind of just help them out in any way I can. Uh, anyway, next question. Uh, Toshiro Solo asks, what's the most enjoyable part about animating? Showing people after. Easy. Uh, I love animating and then just kind of looking at it after and watching the finished product and uh, sharing it with all my friends and family and uh, online and kind of getting everyone's reactions. I love it when people do those little uh, reaction videos when they watch my stuff. It's, it's, it's great. I love it. It's seeing their face makes it so much better. Uh, anyway, next question. Uh, Dragon Fist asks, I heard a lot of times that you make an alternate ending. I don't know how you'll end the story, but please, if you could do these things. Uh, make Ishin fight against Yawash. Make Aizen go all out. And make Yawash use his full power at the same time. Uh, it, the same thing goes to Ichigo. Dragon Fist, I can assure you, um, one of my biggest aims for this project is to make a badass final fight. So I'll do everything in my power to make it as cool as possible. So hopefully you guys can enjoy that. All right, next question. Uh, Nyan Skulls asks, are you gonna reanimate the opening or just episode one? Funny you ask that. I really considered reanimating a new opening and I could potentially show you guys a little bit of what I had in mind here. So I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, my main focus is on episode one for now. So if you guys are actually interested in that because I want the quality to be as pristine as possible. Also, I can't use opening 16 anymore because of the song. So I'm kind of in need of a new opening anyway. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have a lot more skill now and I've got a lot more support now. So I think that we could do it rather fast or something like that. But I will probably focus on the episode one because I'm wanting to get that over with. <laughs> anyway, uh, that kind of concludes the question and answer segment. Um, I hope it kind of answered you guys' questions for the most part. Sorry if I didn't answer yours. I was isn't being picky choosy, um, nothing personal. One of the main things I wanted to actually tell you guys about this video was I have a little surprise for you. Sometime soon, I will be releasing a video that happens to be our Bleach ending one. So we did animate an ending already. I just need to kind of update the credits for it. And I'm excited to show you guys. It will play at the end of every episode as well. It will be featuring all my staff and patrons. So if you kind of want to get your name in the ending, maybe join the Patreon. On Sunday streams 12 p.m. Come on, let's go. Um, but 
I will be releasing it sometime soon, so I will try to do a little video uh, or a post to warn you guys a little bit ahead of time so you can get excited and hyped for it. It's not as big as the opening. We didn't spend as much time on it as the opening, so uh, it's not God's work, but we did try pretty hard on it. Look forward to that. Anyway, thanks again so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.